Welcome to today's episode of Fun Fashion Infusion with Anshita. I am Anshita and you are watching me on loopfree.com. So guys, for today's episode, the guest that we have is a hardcore fan of Kareena Kapoor. In fact, in her feed, if you check out, there are a lot of posts that are actually inspired from all the classic hits of Kareena Kapoor. So I can't wait to talk to her and, you know, Ask her how she actually manages to look as stylish as Bebo herself. So without wasting any more time, allow me to please invite with us fashion blogger Simran Anand. Hi. Hi, Simran. Hi. hi. How are you? How are you? I'm, good. I'm very how are you? good. I'm very good as well. So how has the lockdown been treating you, Simran? Oh, uh, don't even ask. I miss dressing <laughs> up every day. <laughs> I think that's what kept me going when I was working and going out every day. And now I can't dress up. I can't put on makeup. And that's right. really bothering me, honestly. I know. I can understand. So, Simran, for everyone who's watching you on Fun Fashion Infusion with Anshita right now, could you please tell us a bit more about yourself? Yeah, sure. So my name is Simran and I'm from Delhi. I'm 23 years old. I'm a data analyst turned fashion stylist. So yeah, it's been a long journey and I think I'll explain it. I explain everything that I've experienced in my journey in, in this talk show right now. Superb. So Simran, let's talk from the starting, you know, first of all, when was it that you realized that, you know, you had an inclination towards fashion and this is what you wanted to pursue as a career? You know, how did that happen? Were you always like this little poo in your group or did you know it from the very beginning or did it happen suddenly? No, I was actually a fashionista since I was a kid. I always okay. loved dressing up. But I didn't realize that this is what I can do as my career also. So uh, as I told you that I was a data analyst first. I'm an economics okay. graduate. Uh, I oh, used wow. to work in a bank. So okay. I was working in a bank since last two years. And I realized this is not what I want to do for the rest of my li life. I can't do this. I'm not enjoying it. I used to cry yeah. every day. The only motivation was get up and dress up and go to office. So right. then I searched uh, like what can I do now because I can't do a graduation course again in fashion designing or something because styling was a very new term uh, then when I uh, was in bank. So okay. yeah, I researched and I saw, okay, so there's this styling course in NIF and I went for it and I got selected. And now, and it, there's been a long journey. Uh, I worked as a fashion stylist in a styling startup also. I left that also because I was not enjoying that. Even even if I was doing something what I love, I was still not enjoying that. And that's how I decided right. that I want to be a content creator because that is something I really enjoy the most. And yeah, right. so this is my plan right now that I want to be a full-time uh, influencer. Superb. And I wish you all the luck for all your future projects, Simran. I think you're doing great at what you're doing. I mean, I've seen your feed and like I was telling everyone in the introduction itself, you are almost a replica of Kareena Kapoor if we look oh, at your shit. feed. You oh, know? she's my favorite. You just I, made my day. I got it from your feed. <laughs> so, you know, I, when we talk about the entire looks that you've created in this span of time, any one look that you would call is the most memorable look of yours and if you would like to explain it for us yeah definitely so uh, i unintentionally created a look uh, when i went for my graduation uh, nifts graduation when i graduated from there so i wore this uh, black uh, red trousers uh, with a red tube top and okay. it was so, like, everyone loved it. And I realized, ki, oh, this is the uh, Karina Kapoor's outfit from oh, You Are My Sonia. I unintentionally did that. So <laughs> I actually uh, recognized with her style a lot. So that was very unintentional. So I think that is still my most favorite look. And uh, I remember my journey started when I created that look. I thought, okay, mm -hmm. I can 
by a lot of people because mm-hmm. I got a lot of compliments for the first time in my life. Correct. So yeah, that's that that wow. that is my favorite look. <laughs> right. And you know, uh, since you've been in this industry for quite some time now, and also you've worked in different industries previously as well, so you know yeah. the perks and you know yeah. <laughs> everything. Yeah. So, but when we talk about the challenges in this industry, Simran, any any setbacks that you faced probably sometime in your career, especially when we talk about content creation, something about that? Yes, there are a lot. Okay, so content creation doesn't pay you well uh, initially. The, it yes. does, uh, but after a lot of time, or after a lot of efforts, and there are a lot of creators right now. I think uh, one thing that I want to point out that a lot of people have fake followers, and uh, right. because of them, people who have genuine organic following and have less followers, uh, they are unrecognized. So Absolutely. I am one of that example, and I feel that is really uh, unfair because uh, brands do see numbers uh, and. But it is not fair because they have bought those followers. I don't think their content is amazing. And okay. there are a lot of small creators who have amazing content, but then no one knows them because they have less followers and they're not earning from them, uh, Correct. this content creation. Correct. So yeah, and apart from that, uh, cyber bullying, uh, for example, right now when I did uh, Karina Kapoor's outfit recreations, I got a lot of backlash that she's a star kid. What are you doing? This that. I think after Sushant's case, people were very aggravated, and they wouldn't Absolutely. have pointed this, pointed this if I had done this before. So, Correct. like, they are very aggressive and impulsive. They don't even think about saying one thing. Okay, I know she's a star kid. I am not a star kid. You can support me. How hypocrite can someone be? Absolutely. So, that is something. Yeah, there are pros and cons of social media. Correct. And I have paid, just have to deal with it. Yeah, but that's all yeah. right. You know, similar like they say, you cannot please everybody. So exactly. as long as you are keeping sane and you're at peace in your head, that's all right. Exactly. <laughs> Correct. So okay, Simran, when we talk about fashion and the industry that you're in right now, you know, what would you say is the best part about your job? What is that one thing that you love the most about working in fashion? Okay, so I think uh, I have been a creative kid since I was a child. Uh, like I used to paint and do art and craft. I was not into fashion, okay. fashion, but I loved creating everything. So okay. I think uh, that creativity, because there's not a lot of scope in India uh, for this painting and stuff. So I didn't go for it. I went for something else, and even I didn't know much about this industry also. So that was the also, uh, that was one of the reason why I didn't choose my career path initially in that, uh, right. and now I feel my creativity is coming out. I can uh, showcase what I already had, and uh, like I could, uh, you know, what I was painting, I could, uh, I can't That's explain. Portrait, it portrait through your usko style. Usko ek life, ha, usko ek life dena ki okay, Correct. see, that's how creative I am. Right, wonderful. Also, you know, like you mentioned about the best and the most memorable look of yours. But I'm sure, you know, since you've had such a long career in this, I mean, not you know, time-wise, but also experience-wise, because you were yeah. always interested in fashion and everything. So, yeah. uh, you know, any one experience where you realized that that was not one of the looks that you would want to, you know, show to everybody that you realized you made a fashion faux pas or a fashion blunder yeah. and you're not really proud of it. Something about that experience. Uh, when I look back, there are a lot of looks, a lot of looks, but I think okay, that's I honest. That, yeah. When I, I was doing that when I was wearing those clothes, I felt that was, I, I was looking the best. So at that time, <laughs> right. I think, think Okay, because it is evolving, fashion is evolving. So whenever okay. I look back, there will be outfits that I, I'll I'll be like, Ki, oh shit, ye main kabhi na pen. So I at that it. time, maybe it was in trend, or maybe it was in fashion, or maybe my style also evolved. Uh, but okay. uh, I don't think at that point of time I felt that oh, I made a fashion faux pas. Right. I think that goes with everybody, you know, yeah. even people yeah. who are not actually in fashion. Yeah. Ke pictures dekhe, we're like, what was I wearing? <laughs> so yeah. that 
is a thing that your style, your understanding of fashion exactly. keeps changing exactly. with time. So yeah. I think that's all right. Okay, so Simran, if you had to talk about all the achievements that you've had till now, any one experience that you would call your "I made it" moment, what would that be? Okay, uh, so abhi uh, recently, uh, Cosmopolitan and Popex so featured my looks. So oh, I wow. really felt, yeah, I felt ki oh, someone is seeing my work and I am being Correct. recognized. Although I have just five thousand followers. and right. still they are able to see me uh, from those bunch of pool of creators so correct, uh, it correct. was not a very big achievement but since uh, i shifted my domain and everything was new for me i Absolutely. felt that this is an achievement in its own kind because right. yeah i think uh, that people recognized me after that more because they have a lot of followers cosmopolitan and popex so are big Absolutely, so yeah. that was a small but an achievement for me that's really nice and like i said the stair is going upwards from here for you i am sure simran you are going to achieve great things in your life and you. i wish you all the luck again thank also, you also simran when we talk about you know the trends first of all how do you keep updating yourself with all that's new in fashion i mean how do you get to know the new trends the new hacks everything related to fashion how do you keep updating yourself Okay, so this is a very weird thing, but I now realize that I have been doing this since all my life. Even if I was not, uh, like I was uh, cutting my clothes, I'm making my dress uh, into oh, a top. Wow. I I was doing tailoring, stitching. And I did everything when I was a kid, and now I realize that people are making money out of it. Then they're not fashion right now. Fashion is so correct. That, that not something very new to me. I've I've always been that kid that I'm doing something, I'm doing something, I'm doing something, I'm doing something, I'm doing something. But I never felt that okay, this can be a career also. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it naturally comes to me. I I see a lot of people doing it. So yeah, it's a very yeah. natural thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, ye
So exactly. self validation is the most important thing, and you don't need any other validation, as yes, far yes. as I know. <laughs> right. So Simran, I think you've answered all these questions really beautifully. I mean, we got some thank really you. insightful answers about your journey and learnings from the industry. So thank you for that. And with this, we've come to the end of the first segment of our show, Fun, Passion, and Fusion with Anshita. For the second segment, like we've discussed, Simran, we have planned something very exciting for all you guys who are watching the show. So stay tuned. And what exactly are we going to do in this segment, Simran? I'm going to give you the space, and you can just tell them and paint the town red. So this is the alternate dress that I'm wearing. I'll turn it into a skirt. Uh, I'm wearing a lavender top, which perfectly complements this white color and uh, pink flowers in it. So now, what I do it, I wrap this around my waist. round uh, sil oxidized silver earrings don't wear very chunky and big earrings because that will uh, take the attention from this beautiful neckline this dress has yeah i think now you're ready uh, for a sangeet function or maybe a very small family get together something like that yeah so that's how it looks i think this has to be my favorite look because i'm totally into fusion wear uh if you are not very comfortable with showing your arms and since this dress is also water neck uh so if you're not comfortable wearing such dresses what you can do is take a scarf and wear it like this uh by wearing it like this the even the neckline is also visible little of your shoulders is also visible but your back is also covered and you will very feel very comfortable while wearing it and it also looks stylish at the same time so yeah that's about it i hope you like the session 
Wow, Simran, I think that was absolutely amazing. I mean, that's something very new and that not a lot of people know about. And I'm sure it's going to help a lot of us. So thank you thank again you. for that. Thank you so much. <laughs> right. So with this, Simran, we've come to the end and the last segment of our show, Fun, Fashion and Fusion with Anshita. So like you know, and like everyone who's watching us right now on loopray.com knows, this segment is called Let's Play. I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah. <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, so the game that we are playing today with you, Simran, is called Three Best Friends. What will happen is I will ask you questions and you will have to answer them in threes. Now, all these questions are fashion related, related to style, makeup, so you can just chill and relax okay. and smile and let me know whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay, so I have to answer like three. Uh, yeah. Uh, there will be in three. Threes. Correct, okay. correct. All right, so should we start, Simran? Yes. Give I'm me ready. a virtual high five. Yes. <laughs> all right. So the first question is your three wardrobe staples would be? Okay, the one would be a uh, black camisole, uh, one another would be flared jeans and third would be black pumps. Oh, super. Okay, three fashion trends that you are currently obsessing over is? Color blocking, monotone outfits and the fusion outfits. Oh, wow. Okay, so three your three favorite brands to shop from are? Okay, Zara. Uh, H&M and Sheen, which is banned now, but uh, yeah. apart from that, apart from that uh, it's uh, Ajio. Okay, Sheen truly was a lifesaver, yeah. We I are know. all going to miss it. I know. Okay, so three things we would always find in your bag, Simran. You can always find a diary. Uh, you will always fi find some makeup. Uh, uh -huh. And yeah, it will be my charger. Okay, super. That's actually very smart because you will have to carry a charger no matter yeah. what. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so three people you love to follow on social media are? Okay, so one is Komal Pandey, uh, Karina Kapoor and Santoshi Shetty. Okay, super. So your three favorite, okay, this is new, so hear it out. Three favorite poses of yours while getting clicked would be? Okay, so I have to pose? Yeah, come on, show us. <laughs> Okay, so first I just do this smile because I feel, <laughs> okay, this will make anyone's day. <laughs> okay, right. another, one, uh, another one is, uh, I do the side pose because I feel this side is better. And okay. another one is by standing up and crossing my legs because that makes you look taller. Oh, nice. Lovely. Um, three things we would never see you wearing. Something that you are not a very big fan of and that you won't yes. wear. You won't ever see me wearing uh, low waist jeans. Okay. okay. Uh, you won't ever see me wearing wedges, uh, wedges heels. Uh, you I won't move? ever see me wearing um, those chunky earrings uh, that uh, crystal chunky earrings. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Right. Okay. So, three favorite accessory of yours would be? Okay, the one would be scarf, uh, another okay. would be sunglasses and very small studs, crystal rhinestone studs. Okay, lovely. So, I'm guessing you're not a very big fan of jewelry and a lot of accessories. No, no, no. I all spend all my money on my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Okay, so three things in your bucket list right now are three things that you would want to do as soon as the lockdown is lifted. Okay, as soon as, so uh, I want it, it's not like ki, uh, lockdown is lifted or something, it, it's like my personal bucket list. So okay. I want to go to London, uh, I okay. want to attend Milan Fashion Week once and okay. I want to meet Gigi Hadid. Oh, super. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, like you mentioned, you're also a stylist and you've done an internship as well for the same. So, any three tips for power dressing that you would like yeah. to share? Definitely. So, always invest in good blazers and trousers because that can truly make your day because uh, that is something... Uh, 
it's called power dressing for a reason so right. when you wear that you feel powerful and people uh, around you will get that vibe right. so always right. invest in good blazers and trousers uh, another one would be your makeup should be very minimal uh, because right. you don't want to scare people at work you sh- you can't wear heavy makeup you just Absolutely. just keep it simple and basic if you don't know how to do makeup then please avoid it because a uh, bad makeup is uh, sorry no makeup is better than bad makeup absolutely and correct and another would be keep your accessories also very minimal and don't overboard yourself with like a lot of jewelry and everything a small pendant or maybe small studs or or, or just a watch that would correct. also work and one additional right. thing i would uh, like to tell that your hair and your na- nails should always be groomed for power if you are it it is very universal wherever you are going it should be there because that's absolutely. how you can make an expression absolutely wow i think you've said it very well simran and with this to come to the end of this segment as well you played the game really well you know uh, you gave some pretty interesting mm-hmm. answers so well done there and with this we've come to the end of our show but before we actually sum up the session there are a few questions that i personally would definitely want to ask you first mm-hmm. is sibrin i've seen your feel and it's awesome so who clicks those pictures i am I very intrigued to know because you know there are such different beautiful angles and your feed looks very interesting and so colorful so i am very Thank interested you. to know who actually clicks those pictures okay so i click my own pictures i really? set my phone on yeah i set my phone on timer and then i click them wow. i just experiment with different angles like yahan se chahiye yahan se chahiye because Uh, i have something in my mind and i want to recreate that so Correct. i already had an, a, anything in my mind and then i try to recreate that so yeah nice. i do it myself because my brother is useless <laughs> <laughs> i hope he will spare you after watching the episode <laughs> <laughs> yeah he has to <laughs> <laughs> right So okay I mean like we've discussed a lot about fashion and styling hacks let's talk about makeup a bit as well since you're a content creator and I've seen your posts you do a little you know colorful sort of makeup that I've seen in a, a few uh, posts of yours so what would be your ideal go to look if you had to go out for a let's say a party with friends or you know a brunch date with your girlfriends what would be your go to look from makeup to you know the outfit that you would wear to the footwear everything if you had to explain sure so uh, for makeup i never wear dark lipsticks because i feel i i don't look good uh, wearing dark lipsticks so okay. i always try to highlight my eyes because uh, my i have green colored eyes so it oh, really wow. brings out those are eyes. your natural lights yes yes i thought you put on lenses oh, no, they're no, beautiful no. yeah yeah so that's the reason i try highlighting my eyes uh, as much as possible and i keep it simple for lips so nude lipstick will always be there a winged okay. eyeliner will always be there and i right. don't really apply a foundation and everything i just apply bb cream because i think that does the job for me and okay. uh, a, a little tint uh that blood tint on your cheeks uh and i am good to go that that is my go to wow. makeup literally i do this every day wherever i go so before we actually end the show any last message or advice or anything that you would like to say to the people who are watching you right now i'm going to give you the full screen sibrin and you can just say whatever you want to okay so the only thing i would like to tell everyone that just be confident in what you are doing and don't listen to anyone लोगों का काम है कहना वो कहते ही रहेंगे एंड यू जस्ट करो गो विद योर हार्ट वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू एंड डोंट ट्राई टू कॉपी एनी वन बिकॉज एवरी वन हैज देर ओन जर्नी एंड दिस विल नॉट टेक यू एनी वेयर यू जस्ट हैव टू फॉलो योर ड्रीम्स योर यू हैव टू डिस्कवर योर सेल्फ थ्रू दिस जर्नी एंड यू विल डिस्कवर योर सेल्फ थ्रू दिस जर्नी यू कैन जस्ट कॉपी एनी वन एंड देन गो हेड विद इट यू विल फाइंड योर सेल्फ लवली आई थिंक that's very well said so 
thank you again for being with us today simran it was lovely talking to you and i wish you all the luck for all your future projects may you rise and shine same to you anshita thank you so <laughs> thank much. you so much thank you i shall see you thank soon you. bye okay bye so guys this was the very bubbly the very chirpy fashion blogger content creator simran anand and we'll be back with a lot more such exciting episodes till then stay tuned to fun fashion and fusion with anshita that you are watching on lufri.com